Um, okay, there you go. Got stuck for a second. Ah! Alright, dogs. I now know just what's going on here. And I sure hope you're ready. The truth is that you stole the true blue. And so there. The pony should present evidence. Er uh, huh? The pony does not even know how to present evidence. Perhaps the pony is getting ahead of herself. <sighs> Damn, Twala, you suck at this. Oh, okay. We do not even know what the pony wants us to say. Oh. Nor have you given us any idea why we would steal your little gem in the first place. We have many gems to steal. If the pony is done, please leave us be and go away. <coughs> Stealing gems is your thing, isn't it? Confess! The pony has some evidence. Well, I'll get back to you on that. Is there really no evidence that says that it was them instead of a pony? I'd better take another look. Nor have you given us any idea. I mean, that doesn't really prove it was them, though. Could have been Opal. Really? Okay, sure. Alright, you want evidence? I've got some evidence. The pony. Just ignore them, Twilight. Just ignore them. If you're done ignoring me, I have just one important question. Do ponies have claws anywhere? No. Then perhaps you might want to explain how this stool and Rarity's Boutique became ripped last night after the thief tripped over it! Oh, dang. A creature that has claws and would want a huge sparkling gem? That seems to narrow it down a bit. Obvious other suspects. Oh, 
Of course, it's never that easy. You mangy mongrels! Are you telling me that you're about to accuse some holy innocent pony? Accuse pony? Yes! Accuse innocent pony? No! But the pony will please refrain from whining. <laughs> Uh -oh. Calm down, Rarity. Let's hear it, dogs. I can't say I like where this is going. If they've got another suspect in mind, then I'd better do whatever I can to prove that it couldn't be whomever they've got in mind. Now's no time to lose your head, though, Twilight. Let's hear what they've got to say. Wait, the pony is obviously covering for someone who she doesn't want anyone to suspect here. We prefer, of course. Your little dragon friend. Spike. He has claws and a healthy appetite for gems. Gems just like the ones pilfered from your pissy pony. What happened? Here's what happened. Your little dragon friend broke the window to your pony's house, then jumped in. He's not the brightest, so of course he wouldn't have cared about the noise. He watched inside, he found the gem, and made off with it like the dirty little thief he is. We already know he has fan bases leading little episodes. Gems stolen, houses destroyed. This is no different from that. I believe this pony is now aware of just how off base she really is. Now go away! I mean, I don't disagree with his logic, but we all know Spike won't do that because it, it was Rarity you got broken into, and he won't break into Rarity's house. Oops. <laughs> Just a minute. Broke it with what? There's anything here. Can I prove that Spike couldn't have broken the window? Watch inside. He found the gem and made off with it like the dirty little thief he is. Just a minute. That that doesn't mean anything. What evidence do you have that he did it? About as much as you have that Damn. Way. I mean, Twilight, that should have been obvious. Well, then, how can you say this is no different if you know so much about that, then? I don't think the town got destroyed this time. Has your little dragon friend experienced any sudden growth spurts lately? No, but... Then he did what he could with his tiny little dragon body. I'm sorry! Ugh, my celestial dog is annoying. This can't be right. Besides scale, is there really nothing else different? Gems stolen, house destroyed. Wait, gems. Oh. Every gem? Oh. Hmm. I got it. I got gotcha. you. I'm with you, Twilight. These gems were left alone.
Oh, he's crying now. Uh oh. Okay. Um, come again? I don't like where this is going. The only evidence the pony has that there either was a break in is the broken window. Your precious little suspect is the one who broke that window, of course. The pony accuses us of breaking in, but ignores the guilt of the only pony who could have been her culprit. If we stole from your precious Christmas pony, we would have needed to enter her house, but we did not. The pony has nothing to even show how we could enter, let alone how we did. Your frisky pony keeps her door locked. What happened is simple. Your scooter pony crashed through the window and stole your stupid jet. And now, the pony is choosing us to cover for her. She will go away before we get angry. This be either that one or this one. <coughs> just a minute. You dogs stick tunnels everywhere. How do we know you didn't just dig your way into the bottom? Because there would have been a giant hole in the floor, Twilight. Did the pony find any holes in your frisky pony's house? Well, no, but. Like, you could be asking a lot better questions than that, Twilight. Damn! Hell, just take a point off Twilight for that right there. <laughs> she got shot down. Uh, I can't find any cracks in their defenses yet. How do they know so much? Do I really have nothing that would suggest how they got into the boutique? Er, wait. She yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. Yes. Those little diamond tools. What happened is simple. Hold on. Wait, Captain. That's a very interesting thing to know, I have to say. What? That Rarity keeps her doors locked. The other information I can see being useful, but I can't see how that information would help anything. Not unless you intended to do something with it. Stop beating around the bush, pony. Rarity, this hooked gem fragment. You've never seen it before, right? Why, no, darling. It's certainly not mine. I would never have a purpose for such an ill-shaped gemstone as that. Which means this was left here by the culprit. Or should I say... This carved piece of gemstone clearly only has one purpose. It picks locks. And where did it come from? Well, I've only seen one other example of carved gemstones like this. Busted. How did you know that Rarity kept her door locked? How did you know that Scootaloo had been there? The answer is simple. You were there. You don't think I love that little frame. Stolen from us. Does the pony have evidence we in fact 
Damn, these guys are good. <laughs> Yeah, you do. G what? You have no motive to steal a gigantic gem? <laughs> Let me explain for the slow ponies here. Round two. Oh, four. Damn. <laughs> Hey, what? Mr. Dog, I'm not sure I buy the idea that you had no attachment to the true blue. You already alluded to the fact that big gems like this are kept out of sight, presumably in a safe, naturally. Yet, we saw clear as day that you have a safe that is as empty as can be, a safe that could instead be used to house a gem like that. There's only one possible reason for that. And that would be? I don't yet know how this ties into Rarity having the true blue yet, but... The only explanation for why the safe is empty is... I'm actually surprised that it worked. I was just gonna give this up and try again. Oh my god, that was lucky. Uh, he said greedy little dogs, so I'm guessing he was stolen from. Damn. That's not my attempt at all. Now what? All right, then why was it empty? New? Is that actually plausible? Could it be weird? No, because they have the identical key. I'm afraid that's not possible, dogs. That safe can't be new. The portal is blocked. Show some proof. I know I'm on the right track. There's a certain piece of evidence that shouldn't exist if the safe were truly. Yeah, the. The second key. Fine, I will. The safe can't be new because of this. How's this? Uh, key? Perhaps the pony is unaware that safes with key holes do tend to come with keys. Oh, it's not the key that I'm interested in. It's where I found it. And perhaps even more importantly, the state I found it in. I know this key wasn't found inside the cavern. 
I found this far outside the taverns near a bush, clearly discarded and lost. And I might add, right next to where Rarity found the true blue. Also, this key is identical in every way to that red key you showed me that opened your empty safe, meaning that it would open that safe as well. And furthermore, this key shows signs both of having been abandoned and of typical wear and tear, making it rather unlikely that it's remotely new. Thus, this key we found must be the original key to the safe. Meanwhile, the red key you showed me earlier was just spare we made after the original one was stolen by the thief. If the safe was truly brand new, there would be no need for a spare key. Even you dogs can't have lost something so important that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Not just any room, an empty room. And might I add the only empty room that I saw. Furthermore, evidence shows that a dog used to live there and only quite recently ceased living there. Certainly the treatment one would give to a thief, right? Dang, he's going down. So, in a way, it was actually Rarity you stole from them. In a sense. You hastily fled, but tripped over the stool, dropping the lockpick you had used to gain entry. Am I getting warm, dogs? Um. Uh, that is. No! You're not! Uh, yes! <laughs> <clears throat> huh? Yes, I have. How haven't I? <laughs> it's simple, Pauno. The Pauno, for all her similar stories, has proven no link between the evidence and what she talks about. Lord Pussy Pony had one gem, and a gem might have been stolen from us. So what? Besides, we really got the stolen gem back. Miss Ray, oh. Okay. 
Go on, a girl. I um, don't think this is being entirely productive. And you, dog, you haven't proven that you've got your gem back. Me, you do not have to prove anything to you, pony. So what if your little pony got a stupid gem to wear on you? I love that they're so terrified of her. They actually call her Miss Rarity. Oh, there we go. Mr. Dog, didn't your mother tell you that honesty is the best policy? Uh, what are you going on about now? I'm saying that you, Mr. Dog, are lying. You didn't get your gem back, and the location of the key wasn't a coincidence. When we got to the site at which Verity found the true blue, there were two key things that we noticed, besides the enormous hole that was there. <laughs> Here's what I think really happened, dogs. As I said before, you used to be in possession of the true blue, but it was stolen from you. The thief buried the gem as he was running away and then etched an X into a nearby rock to remind himself where it was. You caught up with him and forced him to show you where he buried it, but by that time, Rarity had already found it and walked away with it. You frantically dug anyways in the hopes that it was still there, as evidence from the rather visible paw marks in the dirt, but to no avail. You went after it, found that Rarity was the one who had taken it, and then began to plot how to get it back, didn't you? Yep. I I didn't even need to think about that one. Even now she still has you petrified, terrified, mortified. There is no way you were going to just take the gem back because that meant you would have had to face her. Are you calling me stupid, you magic? Damn. Damn. 
Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> well, Twilight, job well done. Shall we get going back to Ponyville? Um, yes. Let's go. Well, well, I must say that this makes for quite the interesting story. Who would have guessed that the Diamond Dogs would have been the culprits? Yes. Who would have guessed that a group known in the past to be Gen Thieves would have stolen a lot <laughs> Scootaloo, please step forward for a moment. Uh huh. Okay. Scootaloo, you came under immediate suspicion for this crime. However, it's now clear that you were simply a pony in the wrong place at the wrong time. For the crime of stealing Rarity's true blue gem, I hereby use the power vested in me as mayor to declare you not guilty. <laughs> Right. That matter having been settled, Twilight, there's still the matter of your status. My status? Of course. We did say that your status as an investigator was temporary. We? You mean you? Oh, let's not get caught up in details, Twilight. Make it permanent. Anyway, the point is, as much doubt as I might have had in your ability, you have proven yourself to be a capable investigator, but with your smashing good job with this crime. As such, Twilight, as of this moment, I hereby declare you an official permanent there we go. investigator. Yay! Wow. Um, thank you. It's an honor, Mayor. All right. Well, I'm a very busy pony, so I'd best be going. All the best to you, Twilight, and I'm glad we can get this matter resolved, Barry. <laughs> well, all well that ends well, my dear. I for one would be glad to get back to some good old normalcy around here. Yeah, and I can't wait to finally get back to crusading. Come on, girl, let's go. Just one. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I'd kind of rather stay here if it's all right with. Scootaloo, you you broke the window to my boutique through reckless acts on your scooter. Not only that, you also went telepathy and tried to hide the fact that you had been there, effectively lying to both me and every pony else by omission. Scootaloo, I am. Very, very disappointed. I... But then! Rarity, she did! I am very sad to your point of view did not do enough to convince you to turn Oh, jeez. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a cute scene, but Skulu got really big. Oh my god. Oh, now they get a little... Oh, there she is. I wonder if she was going to come back. Yeah, really. Sometimes I If they have hooves, how do they even know about shadow puppets? Anyway, we can talk more about that later. For now, I wanted to give you a friendship report. I can't I just realized they ended it right there just before she gave it. That's kinda cool. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh. Pony. Attention! The Cutie Mark Crusaders would like to present the Crusaders Comedy 
Oh boy. Oh no. Oh my god. No! Just... <laughs> oh my god. That's adorable. Oh yeah, we never saw uh, Fluttershy or Applejack. Official Ponyville investigator. Hmm. Kind of has a certain ring to it, I suppose. Oh. Better than Princess. And heck, I got a shiny new badge out of it too. Not so shabby, huh? Although, speaking of badges... I wonder whatever happened to that Canterlot investigative team. Uh oh. Well, uh... Hmm. Nope. It definitely isn't Ponyville either. Really? But how? The train goes right there from Canterlot. Hey, don't look at me. You're the one with the map. Map? I never had a map. For Celestial's sake, the train only has two stops. Ugh, forget it. Let's just keep walking. Hmm. Oh well. Ponyville's usually pretty quiet, but I wonder what other cases I might get to solve in the future. I have a lot to learn as an investigator, but I'll do my best in whatever case comes next. Watch and awe. Oh. Oh. oh my god, Trixie, really? All right, so that was the first case. Though this was made two years ago, I don't know if they're still planning on making one. I think I heard they they are still making it. It's just kind of taking up a little while to get through. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. It was just a simple little game. Uh, definitely not my genre. I'm not into these puzzle solving type games, but it was a nice change of pace. So, yeah, if they ever come out with case two, I'll definitely give that a go. But for now, that's it for my little investigation. So, I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Take it easy. I feel the pain so deep. It takes away my sleep. Took me by surprise. Just realized your life.